In this video, we will solve a linear equation in one variable with variable terms on both sides of the equation. We're asked to solve the equation 2m minus 9 equals 6m minus 17. We should first notice the equation does not contain any fractions or decimals that can be cleared from the equation, and also neither side of the equation simplifies, which means the first step is to add or subtract in order to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Well, notice right now we have a variable term on the left and on the right, which means the first step is to decide whether we want to isolate the variable term on the left or right. In this video, we will show both methods, but to begin, let's isolate the variable term on the right side of the equation, which means on the left side of the equation, we need to add or subtract to undo positive 2m, and therefore the first step is to subtract 2m on both sides of the equation. On the left, 2m minus 2m is zero, which is why we subtracted 2m on both sides. We now just have negative nine on the left side. Negative nine equals, on the right, 6m minus 2m is 4m. The right side is now just 4m minus 17. We still have not isolated the variable term though, we need to undo this subtraction in order to isolate the variable term 4m. To undo minus 17, we need to add 17 to both sides of the equation. On the left, negative nine plus 17 is positive eight. We have eight equals. On the right, negative 17 plus 17 is zero. The right side is now just 4m. Now that we've isolated the variable term, the last step is to multiply or divide to solve the equation for m. Because 4m means four times m, to undo the multiplication and solve for m, we now divide both sides by four. Simplifying, eight divided by four is equal to two. On the right side, four divided by four is equal to one. One times m is m. Two equals m is equivalent to m equals two, which is the solution to the equation. Notice how by isolating the variable term on the right side of the equation, the m term had a positive coefficient. Now let's solve this equation again and isolate the variable term on the left side to compare the two possible methods. After we do this, we will verify the solution. So beginning with the given equation again, let's now isolate the variable term on the left side of the equation which means now we go over to the right side of the equation and we need to add or subtract to undo positive 6m, which means now the first step will be to subtract 6m on both sides of the equation. On the left, 2m minus 6m is negative 4m. The left side is now negative 4m minus nine equals on the right side, 6m minus 6m is zero right side is now just negative 17. Looking at the left side of the equation, we still need to add or subtract to isolate the variable term negative 4m, which means we need to undo minus nine by adding nine to both sides of the equation. On the left side, we have negative 4m, and then negative nine plus nine is zero. We have negative 4m equals negative 17 plus nine equals negative eight. Now that we've isolated the variable term, the last step is to multiply or divide to solve the equation for m. Because negative four m means negative four times m, to undo the multiplication and solve for m, we divide both sides by negative four. Simplifying, negative four divided by negative four is one, one times m is m. We have m equals negative eight divided by negative four is positive two, giving us the same solution, which we should expect. But notice how by isolating the variable term on the left side of the equation this time, the m term had a negative coefficient. But again, either method does work. And let's go ahead and verify our solution by verifying if we substitute two for m in the original equation, it does satisfy the equation. Beginning with the given equation, we will now substitute two for m here and here and verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. 
forming the substitution, we have two times two minus nine equals six times two minus 17. Simplifying both sides of the equation, we multiply before subtracting. Two times two is four. On the left, we have four minus nine equals on the right, 12 minus 17. Four minus nine is equal to negative five. And 12 minus 17 is also equal to negative five. Negative five equals negative five is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.